Well, I'll start this off, man. Let me say, um, uh, Gary was actually in college when I first got to uh, start watching him. He was in college. I was a rookie. We were about a 50-50 ball club, and we were thinking that we needed some new leadership as far as a point guard, and maybe since I was having a halfway decent season, maybe somebody who could come in and keep up speed with myself. When uh, Bob Whistler that came to me and said, watch this basketball game on Saturday afternoon, all I could see was Gary, when he was yelling at somebody on the bench, somebody at the bench had said something to him, and I was just like, yo, <laughs> this is the type of player we need here. I don't even know if you know this. That's when I was, I told him, I said, look, we had that number two pick in the draft. We got to do whatever we got to do, the position to get you. And uh, man, it was, uh, it was a match made in heaven once you got to, we got to the draft. The Seattle Supersonics select Gary Payton from Oregon State. Most people really believe that this young man has tremendous leadership qualities. We needed that around here. We needed that, that young, that tough at the guard position. Somebody to come in and who could bag themselves up with their play, mm -hmm. but also could play both sides of the ball. Two-way players, you don't find too many two-way players. Right, right, So, right, uh, right. you know, you coming out of college, but we was lucky to get a two-way player. Especially in our, in our era. Yeah, Because we were playing defense a lot, a man. Lot. A lot oh, of yeah. guards. You remember, it was a lot of guards oh, in, yeah. in the league during that time. John Stockton, Kevin Johnson, Tim Hardaway, oh, yeah. Rod Strickland, all the guards that was really good. And I was a big guard, so I was like, man, we can go up in here, we can do something, we can be special. Gary Payton is so tough. A different type of point guard with the complete arsenal of weapons. Here's a steal by Gary Payton. Defense leading to offense. Seattle's main weapon. First time I seen you was when you dunked backwards at the New York game. Ooh, and ooh. I said, this kid is incredible. That, folks, was a high school player last year. Bernie Bickerstaff yep. was the guy. He, yep. he was he was, he was the coach yep. and everything. And he was like, you know, I got to get you with this young kid, man, because you're going to be good. So, Because Bernie had been watching me since I was a sophomore. Mm -hmm. So he kept saying, man, I'm, whatever way I'm going to do, I'm going to get you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to get you. I said, if I get to play with this dude, man, me and him are going to be special together because I'm going to be throwing that thing up to him. I'm going to be running with him. We're going to get it. And then, so it happened, lucked up, yeah. got the second pick. Yeah. And then I told New Jersey, I said, man, don't pick me. <laughs> I'm going to Seattle. <laughs> it is what it is, man. If y'all try to pick me, I ain't coming. I can do 8 one out here, boy. If your head lumpy, I'll tell you your head lumpy. I get heated up when you want me to. Talk to me about the, the best trash talkers you ever encountered. But no, I say, now you go, now you go. Oh, stupid, woo! <laughs> yeah, there we go. A lot of people look at your talking, Gary, they think, like, um, that was just it. He was just talking. But they didn't realize he was taking them mentally out of their game. Right. I was the type of person that used to challenge Gary. I was always in the back of his ear telling him, Michael Jordan, about to get you. You better get ready. <laughs> Michael Jordan over there, he about to, you know. So I think the one thing that we did for each other, we always challenged each other early on. We took what we did. It wasn't... And some people look at it like we was talking crap, but I think it was more of us being positive and encourage each other because it was a test of what you could do with yourself because we knew we could do better. That was a good thing about it. We always challenged each other. You used to get on me a lot. He'd be like, yeah. man, you better come on, man. Jordan gonna bust your head open. You know, I used to get mad at you about all the time. It was all like, man, look here. Dominate that boy. Yeah. Man, I don't care what it yeah. is, man. Take the ball down there yeah. and dominate him. But we used to motivate each other Absolutely. because of that. You Absolutely. know what I'm saying? And that's, we, if we didn't have our relationship off the floor, yeah. like we did on the floor, uh -huh. wouldn't have been right. Oh, because no. we couldn't have talked to each other the way we talked to. <laughs> you know, sometimes we used to cuss oh, at man, each we, other. You know, we were going in, down the court back and forth. Yeah. Like, we was on the opposite team sometimes, yeah. and some of the players would be looking crazy. They'd but, be like, man, what's Sean them doing? This, 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 they, this, they going at it. Yeah, but they didn't realize this is real okay. motivation. Once we got it going and we started doing it, it was then they start naming us the Rain Man and, yeah, the, and, the, and the Glove. Glove. You know what I'm saying? That peanut butter dude, jelly. There it is. That's ketchup, what we, mustard. mustard. There it is. That's what we want. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> they call him the Glove, the Rain Man. Some people around here wanted to call me Reindeer, and I was just like, no, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Then they go, then they go, then they go. Reindeer. And I was like, no. And uh, uh, Kevin Calabro, he called back, and they was like, what do you think about the Rain Man? And at first I was like, no, no, I'm thinking about it. And it was like, not Rain. Not R A I N, but R E I G N. And I was like, okay, 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 yeah, well, I like it. So I think it was a, at that point, that's when I started to realize, okay, we're gonna have to build a foundation just for business around here. The Rain Man, the power back right hand. Look up, oh, get up and lay it 
two-hand trade man. There wasn't very many at the time that Dream. was uh, worldwide known no for their nicknames right. and stuff like that. So to have a nickname, a pair of shoes named after you, a uh, foundation built after you, it was pretty big back in the 90s, man, pretty important. Yeah, yeah, you remember that, remember 90, what was it, 93, 94, when we was playing uh, Phoenix. Kevin Johnson was the, the, the guy, and yeah, I told absolutely. you I was gonna lock him down. Yeah, yeah. So I locked you down in that thing, and then you remember my cousin Glenn. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Glenn came and called me, and he was like, glove, glove. I was like, huh? Yeah. Who the heck is a glove? And then all of a sudden he called me back, and he was like, man, you holding Kevin Johnson like a baseball in the glove. I yeah. said, man, I'm about to go tell my boy this, man. You remember I told you? No, you, you came on the bus and you was like, you said, ah. you in the glove. You and then I was that. like, man, you don't know what you done did. Boy, and then so. we started pumping it up, man. <laughs> and then I was like, man. The yeah. glove and the, the rain, rain man. man. I was like, what we about to get it? <laughs> and then what we do? Got it. Got it. You head to Gary, lobs it ahead. The rain man will go to get it. Peyton leads the break, the lob. Jeff slaps it down. Oh, what a play. I knew if I throw that thing anywhere, you was gonna go get it. I told you that. Yeah, I you said, said it. You said throw that thing up on the roof. I said and throw I'm it. Gonna get it. And then all the antics you did afterwards, you point at and list it. Jeff's got it right up into the alley. I love it because I used to go walk back. I'm like, that's my man. Go at them and go at their head. Well, I think basketball is an expression sport, and I think uh, it can be very intimidating also. You can intimidate a person by two ways, by talking to them or just going at them. The dunk is a powerful thing. It can change the game around. Mm -hmm. It can quiet the crowd, and also it can put a team on shock because there were so many times when we caught lobs and I got a big dunk where the team actually just stopped playing. <laughs> <laughs> and looked at yeah, you. They were looking at yeah, you. Yeah, you remember right, when yeah. Gallon gave you high five? Yeah, I yeah. said, for real? Yeah. You gave high five? Yeah. How are you going to give me high five? I said, boy, are you yeah. kidding me? Scrapes it up, goes back up. He comes. Gatling swats it away. Kemp powers in with a jam. Gatling got a piece of him. Gatling comes up and says, wow, we did a job, didn't we? And they high five each other. <laughs>